The first of its kind in Edmonton, Ashley's cookies are eggs and dairy free. I always have samples out because when people see that they're egg and dairy free or vegan, they're a little hesitant. They're like, well, I don't know if it's going to be as good. So that's why samples are a huge part of uh, our display and our setup. She worked in the travel industry before she changed careers in order to bake cookies and take care of her daughter. I kind of went into the cookies because I've been baking so much for my friends who are vegan and uh, they've really enjoyed it. The Edmonton woman says choosing a name for the company was one of the biggest challenges when she decided to start her business. It was challenging because you're nervous, it's your own business, you're just starting up, so um, you want it to succeed. So I would say just making those initial steps and hoping you're making the right choices and decisions when you first start up, so. Once a week, Ashley bakes her cookies in this kitchen, packages them, and gets ready for the market. I typically bake everything um, at the, close to the end of the week for the market uh, in one shot that I do my supply and I kind of do everything at once. She bakes 17 varieties such as chocolate chip and London fog but double chocolate was named in the top 100 by tomato magazine this year. That was an amazing um, recognition for that one so the double chocolate mint uh, London Fog has been my most popular one. It's an Earl Grey vanilla cookie. But she is not alone in the kitchen. Who I have helping me um, is my sister, Abby. She always helps uh, bake uh, and package the cookies. So she's been amazing. And again, without her, I wouldn't have been able to get this far. Um, and then when my sister isn't able to help, I have uh, friends help. So today I've got my friend Nadine helping me. In the next five years, she plans to open her own cookie store and deliver cookies in more locations. Amor Dardori, go Edmonton.